Hey everybody, we've got a Sharp XVZ2000 to look at today. Uh, it's an oldie, 2003, 2004, something like that. But it's not a bad projector. Uh, this one in particular has been ceiling mounted for quite a while, and I hear stuff. I suspect the lamp burst. Just looking to see if there's any date marks on here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that means 2004 or what. We'll find something inside I'm sure. But the first thing we want to do is get the, uh, I'm going to get the lamp out because I can hear broken glass. I'm not going to bother trying to start it. This particular lamp cover, after you take that screw out, goes to the side and then comes up. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> here, let me bring in. So if you look on the back of the lamp, yeah, that is actually piled up dust. Wow. This is probably the original lamp, I'm guessing. The NK2LP on that sticker, it looks like a sharp OEM. They haven't made that lamp in a while. Let's, uh, let's pop it out. Oof, crunchy. Oh yeah. That was a Phoenix lamp. SHP 71. Phoenix doesn't exist anymore as a company, so this will end up being replaced with an Ushio, I believe. Or they don't exist as a uh, lamp projector lamp company. I think they do automotive lamps now or something. But there's a lot of glass dust in there, so let's open it up. Oh boy clean this off so we don't scratch it. Alright, so I cleaned all the loose glass off the table, or off the bench. Yep. Gotta keep working the clip. Ooh, jeez, you see that? <laughs> Let's see if it does it on this side too. This side's very dusty. <laughs> kind of. Alright, there's no keyboard. It does have a nice uh, copper shielding though. You don't see that on more modern projectors. And this thing is chock full of dust. Just full of it. All that. I'm surprised that didn't pop. That was a common problem. They'd get full of dust and this little temperature sensor would pop up killing power blower fan. You can see all the dust inside there. So this thing needs a good cleaning. I'm going to try and do it without taking it all the way apart. Just kind of having it this much apart I think will be enough. Alright, so that's uh, going to be much cleaner. You can see how much better that looks. Got all that dust out from behind there. Got the lamp fan clean. Got these side fans clean. Inside the ballast and power supply, you know, through uh, through here. So, what we're going to do now is we'll get a new lamp and pop a new lamp in and see if that uh, if it fires up for us. All right, now it's time to try. A new lamp. Got a uh, fresh ANK2 LP here using a Phoenix bulb. So this must be one of the uh, later Phoenix bulbs. Let's just check all these clips before I put everything in. Wires look good. All right. So we'll get that ready. There we 
go. in, put our cover back on, not putting it in all the way yet, just to uh, keep it from moving, and let's get some power. click for the high voltage, that's a good sign. Color wheel started. You can see the light down there coming on. Color wheel sounds good too. It's not too noisy. We got some light coming out too. Even better. Alright. So let's see. Zoom and focus. These guys. Let's get a menu. Oop. All right. There you go. <laughs> I guess that'd be helpful so you can see it. That seems to be the issue, though. We have uh, some other light up on there that's just bleed over from the projector, so don't worry about that. But this is good. I'm going to shut it down, put the cover back on, and then let's get a signal. On it. So here's the blue screen. All right, shutting down. Please wait. And just like that, through the magic of video, the projector is fully reassembled and reconnected to its uh, mount system, if you will. And we're going to give it a shot. I also need to reset the timer on it. So before we turn it on, sure you have a clear view of this. So we're going to put it in standby and then on this one you hold down power, I think it was power, input, undo, I'm trying to remember, let's see. So I press one, two, three, left, enter, and right. And then I press power. <laughs> you got it? So let's see. On, input, undo, left, enter, right, and then power again. So, thousand hours. Oh. 
looks like I didn't do it right. Let's check the manual again. Power, input, undo, left, enter, right. There we go. I got it. There it is. Lamp 00H. So, what you have to do, or at least what I kept having to do, is I press power, and then as soon as I saw the or heard the color wheel spin up, I did input, undo, left, enter, right, power again, and I pressed them all for about about a short second maybe, like almost a second, or maybe a second, but that did it. So, timer is reset, in fact, let's go into the menu, there we go, it's upside down of course, because this is a ceiling mount projector, but zero hours, 100%. So there you go, that's uh, how you clean and XVZ2000. Uh, this carries over to a few sharps that look like this. The, um, <coughs> pardon me, uh, the, let's see, what other models? A 3000? Um, there's a couple. I'll put a, I'll put a list in the uh, description of other models that are about the same as this one that'll follow similar procedures. So, thank you for watching.